Ready? The archives room is just ahead. Search the archives. Look for manifests, bills of lading, requisition orders. Anything that might link the company to the half-breed shipments. How are we supposed to look through all this? Keep it down, Finley. Just thank God. We search. Waste of time, if you ask me. Knight! Over here! You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. If this log is to be believed, the company now has a foothold in every Indian state. Here, the Agamemnon shipment, destined for the eastern coast of the Americas. And three more shipments planned along the same route. RMS Oceanic is next. It set sail in six weeks. Where's Finley? Thank <laughs> you. 
these things. Do you believe me now? He is the one behind all this. The White Chapel killings. The half-breed scourge. United India. All you. Jacob Van Neck. Or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper. At your service. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured. And a traitor revealed. All in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair. How could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run! We have confirmation of multiple intruders at the United India House. The Metropolitan Police has been ordered to remain on standby. The protection and safety of Lord Hastings is our primary concern. Apprehend any suspects with extreme caution.
Galahad, stay where you are. Wait, I can't I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. You see, listen to me, you're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, Monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's Knights. <laughs> <laughs>